Hello and welcome back. Today I have a great little mailbag, which I would put up against almost any other brand in terms of quality, but costs nearly half the price. But first I want to thank recent subscribers, Steve Rodriguez, Laura Noonan, and Jacob Mark. Thank you so much for your support. Baron Serkaya is a leather worker in Turkey who also happens to be an opera singer. How cool is that? Anyway, Baron clearly has an eye and an ear for detail because this bag is truly fantastic. It's a traditional design but created with such care and precision that I'd consider it on the level of high-end brands like Moose Brand Leather. Now the leather itself is vegetable tanned from a Turkish tannery called Supici and it's a pretty wild looking hide. All the leather is hand cut and hand saddle stitched, not machine stitched, with UV resistant polyester thread. The bag's dimensions are 15 inches wide by 10 inches tall by five and a half deep. So it will fit a 15 inch MacBook. The layout is pretty typical with a full width rear pocket, small pocket under the flap, and two small interior pockets inside of a piece of natural veg tan leather. The strap is leather and features a very nice leather shoulder pad. The adjustment is done with a Conway buckle rather than a roller buckle. And speaking of hardware, it's all solid brass. And of course, dead center is that quick clasp. This is kind of like the crown jewel of the bag being front and center, though it's actually in a more subdued finish. So those are the specs, but how is this bag to actually use? Well, for my purposes, I've always appreciated the mail bag. I love the fact that it's very simple and clean, but it does have a nice little top handle. Messenger bags, on the other hand, where they just have a top flap without a handle, sometimes it can be a pain in the neck because you have to pick it up off the you know passenger seat of your car to get out and you're kind of grabbing the strap or the top of the bag. It doesn't work out. So the mail bag, I think, is a great design to go with. And this thing, I got to tell you, it's, it's like a golden retriever. It just seems so eager to please. It's It really does perform exceptionally well and it does everything I ask it to do and looks good doing it. I really like that little pocket under the flap. It's perfect for holding your phone or your keys, but I keep my AirPods in there. Now the interior is big enough for my typical loadout with a laptop, a Colonel Littleton notebook, and an external hard drive, and even then some random cables and stuff. I did find that the back pockets were a little too small for my Lissy rugged drive, but it's a pretty chunky piece of hardware too. Instead of a key leash, there's a small clasp which you can just hang your keys on. This is a must for me since one of my pet peeves is losing my keys inside of a bag. The one thing that I found sort of troublesome was the front clasp. I have another bag with this same clasp design, but it doesn't have the same problem. I found that when I didn't have a whole lot inside the bag, it wouldn't close securely. And I think a necessity with this type of clasp is a fair amount of tension to keep it in the closed position. So when I have the bag loaded up, it's not a problem. But without much inside, the clasp would come undone. Now, I contacted Baron about this issue, and he told me that he can make each bag to accommodate different capacities, and even offered to adjust mine free of charge. And in retrospect, this is probably something I should have discussed with Baron before ordering, but I failed to mention. Aside from that, this bag is like a wish list of construction. Hand hammered rivets, beautiful and precise stitching, a very thoughtful layout, and it's actually the first bag in years that my wife has commented on when I began using it. A piece like this doesn't happen overnight, and Baron told me that each one takes anywhere from 70 to 90 hours over 10 to 15 days to complete. He's a one-man shop, producing only about 25 bags each year, so the attention to detail and quality is excellent. Now if you haven't seen the video that I did on every bag that I own up to that point, then go ahead and click here because I think it's really interesting, especially when you have a little bit of perspective from one brand and one model to another. Now, possibly the best thing about this bag is the price. The one you see here as it's laid out is $600. Now it's not cheap, but don't forget that we're looking at a bag that's of the quality of bags that I have, which are $1,000. And I definitely say that this would be in that category without a doubt. So you're getting a bag for machine made prices, but with handmade quality. And the cool thing too, since Baron is a one man shop, you get to work directly with him on exactly what you want. So if you wanted something that could fit a Liss C rugged drive or some certain piece of hardware, I'm sure that's just a conversation that you could have with him. And the one drawback that I found with that clasp, 
could have been fixed with a simple conversation. So make sure you do your due diligence before you go ahead and place an order. And have patience, because a lot of times these one-man shops, they, they do take some time. You're really relying on one person to do all the work. So anyway, this is just a really cool product, which I, I think flies under the radar. You know how much I love, you know, the maker community and independent people like this. It's just so cool. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go give Baron some love and check out his stuff. Um, I'll link to that in the description below. And until next time, I'll see you.